Today I've got five basic area of a sector questions, the exam style questions. I'm saying they're basic because what we're trying to do today is to work out the area of the sector. We're not trying to work backwards to find out uh, the angle at the centre or the radius at all. So we're not trying to do that today. So some basic uh, area of a sector questions. I've got five of them here for you to try. Uh, this has been assigned out to, to my pupils. If you can try these, um, I'll be doing the answers. So freeze the video look at the answers or just uh, skim right through to the answers if you get them right no need to look at the video okay here we go then let's go for the first one so the first one we've got is a basic uh, diagram here all we're trying to do is calculate the area of the sector shown in the diagram given that the radius is 6.8 centimeters so we'd know that the radius that will be the distance from the center of the circle to the outside of the circle so that's going to be 6.8 centimeters there okay right so let's work out how we do this so one way of thinking about it obviously is going to be the thinking about the full circle that's there so a full circle if we work out the area of the full circle so the area of a circle formula is going to be pi times the radius squared, okay? So if I wanted to work out the area of the circle, and then what I'd do is I know that the sector is only a fraction of the circle. It's not all of the circle. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work out the fraction, okay? So it's a fraction of the area of a circle, okay? And what we're working out is the area of a sector. So area of a sector is equal to the fraction of a circle area here we go, the fraction that we've got here is the angle at the centre, if you remember that, all divided by 360, and we'll multiply that by the formula for working out the area of a circle. So alternatively, get the area of a circle, work out the fraction of it. Put some values in here, so what we have is 135 degrees, all over 360 degrees, multiplied by pi, I'm going to use the pi button on the calculator, multiplied by the radius, and make sure it's the radius that you pick, okay? So 6.8, and we're gonna square that. So into my calculator, just gonna fire that full thing in, okay? So here we go, so we've got uh, 135, fraction button, all over 360, move the cursor along, multiply that by pi, multiply it by 6.8, and we'll square that. That should give me an answer. If I press the SD button, uh, it'll give me an answer of, 54.475 and some others and what we'll go for there is we're going to have to round to three significant figures so I'm going to cut the, the number into here let's see so first one, second one, third one cutting my number there so I'm going to have that 7 rounding the 4 up to 5 so my final answer here using the pi button 54.5 we're working in centimetres centimeters and remember it's area so it's centimeters squared i think if you use the 3.14 you'll get a slightly different answer it might be 54.4 but that's the way it will work through through these questions here so that's the first one okay so we're going to use this formula here for working out all of the the work that we're going to do in the five questions that we're going ahead here we go next one okay the door into a restaurant kitchen swings back and forth through 110 degrees. So there's the angle, here's the door, swings both ways, okay, so and it goes to 110 degrees, okay. The width of the door is 90 centimetres, so there's 90 centimetres out to there. And we're going to calculate the area swept out by the door as it swings back and forth. So what we're interested in is the area of a sector. So there we go there. So it's going to be this area that's in here that we're really interested in, that, that area. Okay then. So remember what we can think about is a full circle. So the area of a circle. Okay, area of a circle. Remember that was pi times r squared for the area of a circle. I'm going to take a fraction of that. Fraction of the area of a circle. And what I'm working out is the area of a sector, okay? Area of sector. Nearly wrote the length of arc in there. Okay, area of a sector. The fraction is 110, all over 360, and we'll multiply it by pi times r squared. 
So 110 going into the calculator, 360 times the pi button times the radius, which is 90 squared. Okay, here we go. Let's put that in the calculator. So 110 fraction button, or 110 divided by 360 would do. We'll times that by pi, we'll times that by the 90, and we'll square it. Oops, we'll go it on the bottom line. Move the cursor along. We'll multiply that by pi first. Multiply it by 90, square it. And that should be my answer there. Press the SD to get my, my values. So that's going to be 7775.44, and it's going along further. I'm going to round this number here to three significant figures. So one, two, three. Cutting my number there. That five is going to make this seven here uh, up to an eight. It's going to round it up. So I've got seven, seven, eight. My decimal point sitting here. So I need to put a zero in to show where that decimal point is. Uh, we're working in centimetres again. So it's centimetres squared for area. So the area of that sector is seven, seven, eighty. Uh, centimeter squared. Okay, next one. Let's go through these. Right, so a sensor on the security system covers a horizontal area in the shape of a sector. So sectors plotted out here. Um, the radius of the circle is 3.5 meters. So we've got the radius again, which helps us out. 3.5 meters. The sensor detects movement in the area with an angle of 105. So that's 105 in there, 105 degrees. Okay, calculate the area covered by the sensor. Okay, so straightforward again. So the area of the sector is going to be equal to whatever fraction of the circle I'm interested in, and I'm going to, going to be times in that by the area of a circle. Okay, so it's a full circle I'm interested in, Take a fraction of it. So the fraction that we've got here is going to be the angle at the centre, remember. Angle at the centre, all over 360, multiplied by the pi button, multiplied by the radius, which is going to be squared. So there's my formula for it. But just think about it, area of a circle, it's a fraction of the circle, okay? Fraction's always uh, here with the, the angle, so 105 over 360 times by pi, times by the radius, which is 3.5, and we'll square that into the calculator, we should get our answer. So 105, go for 360, I'm going to multiply that by pi button, multiply that by 3.5, and we'll square it. And that should give me an answer of 11 point two two. 11.22, and that's going to be rounded to three significant figures. So one, two, three, that two leaves that uh, two that's sitting there as it is. So I've got 11.2, and I can already see the decimal point that's in there. So it's 11.2, we're working in meters on this question here, and it's meter squared area that we're working out. Okay. Right, maybe a bit more complicated, this, this one here, question seven. And what we're trying to work out is we've got uh, two congruent circles, okay? Whenever you see the word congruent, you know that congruent means that they're the same size, the same area, the same circumference, same radius, same diameter. Okay, so they're congruent, they're the same size circles, um, and they form a symmetrical shape uh, below. Each circle has a diameter of 12, so we've got to be careful with that. So it's a diameter of 12, and the centres B and D. Okay, calculate the area of the shape. So for this shape here, I'm going to think about it as, um, I'm going to work it out in three bits, okay? So here's one bit here. So I'm going to work out the area of this sector that's here first of all, okay? I already know that in here that's 90 degrees, okay? And that's 90 degrees there. Because they're the same size, then what I'm going to do is, if I know that sector there, then I can say that this one here is going to be the same as it. And once I've done that, I'm going to work out the area of the square that's in here. And I'm going to add that up together. So I've got three things I'm going to add together. So I know that the diameter was 12 centimetres. So the radius from the centre to the outside is 6 centimetres. Okay. 
I know that for this circle it must be the same because they're congruent, okay? And that's six centimeters there. So I can work out the area of that square quite simply by multiplying the length times the breadth, and I'll get my answer there. Right, let's go for the area of the sector first, okay? So the area of the sector, for the first one, we're going to go for, it's going to be a fraction of the circle, of the area of a circle. Okay, my fraction is made up of the angle that I've got over 360, and I'm multiplying that by pi, and I'm going to then multiply that by the radius squared. So radius squared being the area of the circle, take a fraction of it. Now I know that's 90 degrees, so 360 take away 90 is going to give me 270 degrees here. So that's going to be all the way around from there to there. So that's the angle I'm interested in. Okay, so it's going to be 270 over 360 times pi times by 6 centimetres squared. And I should get an answer for that there. So into the calculator, we'll go for 270. I've got 360 on the bottom, multiplied by pi button, multiplied by 6 squared and equals. So that should give me 84.823, okay? And that's going to be the area of one of the circles, okay? It's going to be in centimetres squared, okay? I'm going to leave that in my calculator just now, okay? So that's just left in there. So the, I'm going to multiply that by 2, multiply it by 2, uh, and that's really because I've got two uh, areas of sectors for, for the total area of two sectors, okay? So if I multiply that by 2 just on my calculator, multiply by 2, that gives me an answer of 169.646, okay, and that's centimetres squared. And then what I'm going to do onto this, I'm going to add the area of the square. So the area of a square, of the square, is length times breadth, 6 times 6, which equals 36 centimetres squared. Okay, I'm going to add that onto here, so add 36 onto that, centimetres squared, and that's the area of the square. Once I've added that up, that should give me my final answer, near enough. So let's go for it. I'm just going to keep it in the calculator. I'm going to add on 36, and that's going to give me 205.646, okay, centimetres squared. I'm going to round this number here to three significant figures, cutting here right on the decimal point. So my final answer is going to be 206 centimetres squared. And that's my full for the area of, and that's going to be the area of the shape. Okay, a more complicated question, this one here, that was a wee bit more complicated. Um, a wee bit more complicated when you can't see the bottom writing, but that's that's the way that one would work out there, splitting it into three parts. Okay, last question, and we'll just get this one going, okay? So for this one here, we've got, uh, we've got two parts to do here. We're going to work out the perimeter, we're going to work out the area, okay? So we've got a school baseball field, shape of a sector. Uh, given that O is the centre, we're going to calculate these two things that are here. So we know that the angle we've got is 80, and what I'll do is I'll go back to the perimeter to work out, first of all, this part here. So I'm going to work out the length of the arc. So remember the length of the arc, I'm going to consider the full circle, and that will be the circumference, okay? So I know that for the circumference, Circumference formula is going to be pi times the diameter of the circle, okay? Pi times the diameter. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a fraction of that. So it's a fraction of the diameter of, a cir of the circumference. So it's a fraction of. And that's going to be my length of arc that I'm working out. And the fraction, remember, is the angle at the centre, all over 360 which should give me my angles 80 over 360 times by pi times the diameter. So the diameter is going to be double that. 
So the, the diameter is going to be equal to 160 meters, okay? So into my calculator, I'll just calculate that out, okay? So this is me just working out the length of the arc. So I'm going to go for 80 all over 360. I'm going to multiply that by the pi button, multiply that by 160, gives me... So it gives me that value there. Onto this, I'm going to work out the perimeter. So the perimeter is equal to the length of arc plus, so I've got to go from there, I've got to go back to here, and then I've got to go to there as well. So what I've got here is two straight parts. So it's going to be plus the 80, and plus, whoops, 80, and plus the 80. So what we've got is 111.7010 plus 80 plus 80. And what we should get for that is, that's the number that was left in the calculator. I'll just add the two 80s on there, plus 80 plus 80, and that should give me the perimeter of the shape. So 271.701, and that's going to be in meters. So if I round that to three significant figures, I'm going to cut the value there, so that's going to give me 27, and that's going to be a 2 rounded up. And I'm right on the decimal point, so that's meters, okay, for perimeter. Right, what we'll do next is we'll calculate the area of the playing field. So remember, I'm just going to go straight for the area of the sector, because it's a sector, is a fraction of the area of a circle. Right, my fraction here is going to be the angle at the centre, which I know is 80, all over 360. I'm going to multiply that by pi times the radius, okay? So the radius and square it, okay? In the calculator, this is what I'm going to put in, should get my final answer. Okay. So 80 over 360, multiplied by pi, multiplied by 80 squared, and my answer will be 4468.04, and got some values going beyond that, and that's going to be meter squared. So if I'm going to have to round this one to two, uh, three, sorry, three significant figures, I'm going to round it there. So my value is going to be four, four, the eight's going to move the six up to a seven, so it's rounding it up, and I need to show where my decimal point is, it's sitting there, so I need to put another zero in till I get to my decimal point, meter squared, okay, and that's two, three significant figures. Okay, so that was quickly, trying to go quickly through the, the exam type questions I signed out, um, hopefully you've, you've got a better understanding of the area of a sector for this type of question here.